2 Peter chapter 3. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostle of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is a promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that when the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. That's really the takeaway from Second Peter 3 is be patient. It's not in your time. It's not, it's not given over to your expectations. When the Lord comes, it's his time and you do not understand the Lord in his time. Just do as you're told. Live the life that we, the apostles, are telling you to live. Be patient. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us for it, not willing that any shall perish, but that all shall come to repentance. That's going to be included in my long suffering video. <clears throat> But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. Elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing that then, seeing then, that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. As also in his epistle, speaking in them of these things, which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also be led away with error of this wicked, Fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. And all God's people will say in the word.